and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're all doing well, I'm doing fine. I'm actually on holiday at this moment, I'm in Austria. It's uh, snowing uh, like, uh, like hell, uh, so we are here for a little bit of uh, down skiing. But hey, I got some uh, pretty cool news for you that I would like to, uh, to share. Uh, in this video we are going to do um, a little bit of exploring in the security operations platform that Microsoft announced at Ignite. As you may have seen during Ignite last year, Microsoft announced the security operations platform. And actually, if you haven't seen that session, I will link it down below. I was actually in that session, so uh, please watch it. Um, but they, uh, they announced the security operations platform, which is a combination of the Defender products and Microsoft Sentinel. Uh, which I think is really nice. It brings together the Defender products and the Sentinel products, which gives you a lot of possibilities in relation to hunting, detection, uh, uh, all that kind of, uh, of stuff. It makes our process so much more easy. So let's dive into the security operations platform in this video. Okay, so let's briefly talk about the unified security operations platform that Microsoft announced at Ignite. So it's actually the unification of Microsoft Sentinel and Defender for Endpoint. And what that basically means is that the products are brought together in a single portal um, with a single backend that allows us to do great things that were not uh, feasible uh, before the unification. For example, we can now use a KQL query within the uh, Unified Security Operations Platform portal that queries both Sentinel data as well as uh, Defender data, which I think is really nice. That scenario was possible uh, in the uh, known situation where Sentinel is living in Azure and the Defender products are uh, basically living in uh, the Defender portal um, but you needed to synchronize all those data to Microsoft Sentinel which was quite expensive. We can now query from within security.microsoft.com both our Sentinel data as well as the Defender data. And we can use that query logic in our incident uh, analytic rules, in hunting, in, well, name it, wherever you want it, you can use it. What Microsoft also did was creating a unified incident queue. And that means that there is now a single queue where incidents that were previously created by Defender or Sentinel are now brought together as a unified incident. That is really, really cool. We now have a single queue where all our incidents end up. And a single queue on which we can use our automation. Really cool. So we talked enough about the security operations platform right now. Let me give a quick demonstration of the, uh, of the portal. All right, so let's dive into the uh, Microsoft Defender portal, security.microsoft.com. This is actually the place where we have our security operations platform, the unification of Microsoft Sentinel and the Defender products. So if you look at my screen over here, the first thing that probably um, is new for you is the Microsoft Sentinel section over here. And this is actually where we have all the threat management stuff that we also had in, in Azure, like our workbooks, uh, hunting, notebooks, MITRE attack, threat intelligence, etc. If we go to content management, we have the content hub over there, the repositories where we can have a connection with, uh, with GitHub to store our detections, hunting, all that kind of stuff. A community blade, which we also had in Sentinel. And if we go to configuration, we have the data connectors, the analytic rules, watch list and automation over there. 
What's also new, if I go to investigation and response over here, is that we have what's called the unified alert queue. This is where all our incidents from both Microsoft Sentinel and the Defender products will end up as unified incidents. So stuff that you see over here, this is I think a, a Sentinel incident. If I click on it, we actually have the great experience in the uh, Defender portal to resolve and research our incident. Let's walk through uh, some important things over here. First thing that I would like to show you is the analytics blade, which was already available in uh, Microsoft Sentinel in the Azure portal. It's now over here. So we have a single portal where we can manage our Sentinel environment and do all the Defender stuff. I think that's great. That will save us a lot of time and it, it resolves a lot of the complexity. So here we have the detections. I can click on create, create a new scheduled rule, just as you are used to in the Azure portal. We can give it a name, sample. Also, I give it sample as a description, as this is just for demo purposes. I can go to set rule logic. And this is actually really interesting what you see over here. I can write my KQL query, but in this KQL query, I can query the Microsoft Defender tables as well as my Sentinel table, which is really cool. I can now create Sentinel detections on data that was previously living in, let's say, Defender for Endpoint. We can now do that without synchronizing that data to Microsoft Sentinel. So that is really, really cool. So if I go, for example, to device events, which I think was a uh, uh, table of, of Defender for Endpoint, I limit that one. I can go to my incident settings. I will leave this all by default. These are the same settings as we had uh, uh, in the Azure portal. I can set up some automation. I review it. This was also available in the, uh, in the uh, Azure portal. And when I click on save, I've created a Microsoft Sentinel detection, which is querying the um, Defender for Endpoint tables. I think that is really awesome. Also, if I go to, uh, I think it's over here, hunting, I go to advanced hunting. This is really nice. As you can see over here, I can query my uh, Sentinel data. I can run this and it will actually uh, query a watch list. But as you can see over here, I have all my Defender uh, tables available, which is really nice. I can now correlate quite easy uh, from data that's living within Sentinel and data that is living in uh, Defender for Endpoint. Really, really nice. So there's actually no Azure vlog without coffee. We have to pour a cup of coffee, but the scenery is so beautiful over here. Let's run a uh, B-roll of snowy mountains and all that kind of stuff. See you in a minute. Welcome back. I hope you like the scenery over here. Uh, we got a lot of snow this night, so uh, pretty darn good images uh, today. Um, I actually have a cup of coffee. It's not that good as we have home, but hey, it, it will do uh, right now. So 
I want to show you a couple of other things in the uh, in the portal. For example, let's go to uh, to hunting because that's also really nice. We can now hunt on both uh, Microsoft Sentinel and Defender data, which I think is uh, is really cool. I can go to my queries over here. Well, this was also available in uh, um, the Azure portal. But the great addition right now is that when I type my query, I can uh, use tables both from Microsoft Sentinel as well as uh, the Defender products, which is really nice. Of course, I can uh, query the dev device events over here. Let's limit this to, to 10, for example. Sample, sample as a name and a description. And that actually will create a, uh, a hunting query. I think this is the one. And you can see over here, we now have the hunting features that were available in Microsoft Sentinel, now available in the, the, uh, in the Unified Security Operations Portal. But with so much more power, now we can query both Defender as well as uh, the Sentinel tables. We go to the Content Hub. This is a thing that you uh, also uh, used to from uh, uh, the, the Sentinel portal. Actually, not that much has changed over here. We have the, uh, uh, the Content Hub items available. We can install them and from there we can uh, implement all the stuff uh, that is in those uh, content packages. Really nice and we don't have to switch portals over here. It's just all in security.microsoft.com, the unified security operations portal. Really nice. We go to watch lists over here. This is the place where we can manage our watch list. Just as before in Microsoft Sentinel, we can now do that from within the security uh, operations platform portal. Really nice, one single place to manage everything and that will save us so much more, so much time. It will reduce so much complexity. Really, really cool. So in this video, I gave a brief explanation of what the security operations platform is, how we can use it uh, and what benefits it will, uh, will bring us. In the near future, when things are uh, getting uh, more public, I will do a lot of other videos on it. Um, but for now, the weather is so great, I'm uh, going outside. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.